story. A four-year-old boy fighting for his life this morning after being hit by a dirt bike in a city park. Now police are trying to track down the rider who took off. CBS News' John Diaz joins us live from Flushing Meadows Corona Park in Queens. Good morning, John. Good morning. Well, the police telling us that this four-year-old boy suffered severe head trauma and he was rushed to a nearby hospital. The incident happening inside uh, this parking lot right here behind me, uh, right by the park's boathouse. According to the NYPD, the person responsible for this was driving a black and gold dirt bike. A crime scene unit takes over an empty parking lot Sunday night. Here, police say a four-year-old boy was hit by a dirt bike and is now in critical condition. We're told the little boy was with his parents running in the parking lot around 6 o'clock at night when he was hit. Witnesses told police the dirt bike was speeding. I'm not surprised, but it is really sad. The lot is right off the Van Wick Expressway. This woman says far too often people are seen riding on the illegal bikes. It was bound to happen. I, say, I see it every day, and I, I'm just like hoping that no one gets hurt, but you know. People are not being responsible. In the first quarter of 2021, city officials say there were eight deaths and more than 350 injuries caused by people operating vehicles illegally on streets and sidewalks. According to city laws, dirt bikes and ATVs cannot be registered as street legal motor vehicles because they lack safety equipment like brake lights, turn signals, and mirrors. Now, last week, new legislation was introduced into the city council that would raise fines and penalties for people operating these illegal motor vehicles. Um, those fines would be raised to $750 uh, for a first offense and $1,500 for all other offenses. And again, in this case, please tell us that they are searching for a man riding on a black and gold dirt bike. We are live this morning from Flushing Meadows Corona Park. John Diaz, CBS 2 News. John, thank you.